to hey create what if i told you that we can communicate without talking like i'm not just talking about like body language because you know it does communicate more than the words we actually like speak but, like let alone like the tone of our voice communicates more than the words that we like communicate with and you know like telepathy is real now i'm not saying you know you could talk to your like best friend or you know your pet turtle or whatever something like that but you know, there has been like some cases that kind of like concluded to the um i guess the conclusion of telepathy like being the cause or like the reason of this phenomenon and um dr stanley kitnick who was a professor at saybrook university in california i think who was once quoted saying A wealth of anecdotal and clinical material exists which supports the possibility of telepathic effects occurring in dreams. However, an experimental approach to the topic did not become possible until psychophysiological laboratory technology became available. It was discovered that sleeping research participants awakened from periods of rapid eye movement activity were frequently able to recall dream episodes. As a result, it was possible to request a telepathic receiver to attempt dreaming about a target stimulus that was being focused on in a distant location from a telepathic sender. Yeah, basically, I guess like in the 60s, you know, like Stanley eventually like worked with this MD named Montague Wilman or Ullman, I think. Uh, yeah, Montague's name was, the last name was. And it was basically at Mondendreich Medical Center in Brooklyn, I think that was called. And basically, like, yeah, they just did this, like, research for, like, a little over 10 years. And basically, like, the sender would basically receive, like, an envelope containing, like, a picture or a word or, you know, drawing or something like that. And then, like, that person would be asked, you know, like, dream about that. And then the receiver is just going to dream about, like, the thought being focused on, like, a different room. And there was, I guess, like, this really prominent case that I guess I was, you know, told prominently. And I guess it was about called like the school of dance or dance of school. And basically like the sender like got this picture of just like these girls dancing in the schoolroom. And the receiver like basically had a dream of like dancing with school girls. I guess that was like the most like quoted, you know, like incident of this study. And actually one of their studies was actually published in the APA as well. So, you know, that's pretty tricky. And I wonder what else that like the government powers have on this piece.